More than a century ago, black men and women on college campuses around the nation, then they weren't allowed to just be college kids, to learn and to socialize. So African Americans started fraternities and sororities, nine of them, eventually known as the Divine Nine. One of them, Kappa Alpha Psi. My current role is pole mark, or the president of the Alpha Chapter. Uh, Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. Then being the Alpha chapter, with it being started here, is a whole nother weight on our backs. Over a hundred years ago, people that looked like me couldn't even walk across 10th Street um, without being threatened, their lives being threatened. For them to come together, be able to come together over 100 years ago and form an organization that's still here today, has grown to be bigger than anyone could have imagined, is just sensational. And we're still striving to um, achieve and fulfill their vision for the fraternity. One word I would use to describe brotherhood in our sense of it is altruism. We over me. We set aside different specific times to have brotherhood and camaraderie. It's just amazing meeting brothers from 40 years ago and they're like, man, when I was down there, this, that, and the other, or brothers from five years ago that I have that close relationship with. It's like, when I was down there, this, that, and the other. So it's, it's crazy, the generational gap, but still the same camaraderie, brotherhood, altruism. And being in the athletic training program, I was able to work with directly on the sports medicine staff of IU and local uh, schools, sports staffs. So overall in the future, which is why I changed my major from athletic training to exercise science, I don't want to be, I don't want to be hands-on in sports medicine. I want to be overseeing kind of logistics and management. I think back to the beginning of like, how did I get from there to here this fast? Think like, wow, I did all this, didn't do this, did it this fast, and now I'm here. We were reading about the Bloomington Nine as well as some of the protests that were happening on campus, and Mr. Keith Parker's name came up, and then Corlin Crenshaw overheard me talking about Mr. Parker, and he said, oh, that's my uncle. And I'm like, what? Are you serious? I've been trying to hunt this man down, and that's your great uncle, and you just don't know. Okay, cool. Obviously, I've known him my whole life, but when I got here was when I found more, I found out basically more about everything he did while he was here. When he was my age, he was fighting IU's policies and initiatives. We were trying to establish better ones, I guess, for people that look like us. Several times he was threatened. They told him, if you don't leave Bloomington or you don't leave IU, we will kill you. He's doing things we do now as student leaders here, but he was doing it. He was one of the first to do it back then. That's a part of being 20 years old. That's a part of not doing deep analytical work about the consequences, doing cost-benefit analysis. It's about going with a feeling. And, and again, you know, my, I learned a lesson from my father. If you're going to be at the table, son, they have a voice. Because you have to think about the world you're going into where you, you've not just got to have an undergraduate degree, you've got to have a graduate degree. So don't think I haven't had this conversation with my nephew Cortland about what are his long-term plans. Now, I'm sure someone had that conversation with me, I just don't remember it. <laughs> because, again, that time, there were things that we felt we had to do, and we didn't, and you didn't do it alone. For those of us who were here in that time, activism wasn't a choice. Activism was a way of life reading about a family member while you're at school in their archives is just different. Uh, I just think it's, it's awesome that he's getting, the Neil Marshall was able to get him to come back. 
The Bicentennial Medal honors distinguished and distinctive service and support of Indiana University's mission as a public university. Individuals who have enlarged the footprint of IU or have helped to put IU on the map in unique ways. We're so happy and honored to have you with us and very happy to present you with the IU Bicentennial Medal. I mean, once the, the, the virus kind of changed everything, it shifted the culture of not just like school, but like the world. That was when I was like, oh, everything is, yeah, I won't be able to do as much anymore. At first it wasn't a pause. It was like everything moved to virtual. It was more just canceling everything I was involved in, involved in like little five, spring break, just little things like that canceled. And it was just a transition for me from being busy every day to really only having to worry about school and work. It's kind of hard to say I expected or anticipated in my entire undergrad career. It's been a roller coaster. I've changed my major, had internships, joined orgs. I'm applying to graduate school now, Masters of Public Health, you know, Recreation, and Hospitality and Tourism. To be connected to the black community the ways I am. I hope that I leave a lasting impact, a positive lasting impact, and that Black IU can grow off of what I've done in the past four years. Yeah.